I am just on an absolute frenzy of recording these videos right now. This will be the third one in a row. So what number is this now? Like 48, 49? Whatever it is, this one and the previous two have all been recorded in about two hours or so, so far. So as you guys know, we have the Montreal Canadiens here. We beat out Florida in round one after being down 3-1. We are now down one nothing to the Montreal Canadiens. Let's see if we can bring it back here in this episode. First game of this episode, second of the series. Nice start, and ooh, okay. This one's gonna be interesting. Also, I know this is gonna be really old news, but well, at the time this video's coming out, now it's, it's when I'm recording this, it's pretty recent. I think like a day or two. But yeah, Henrik Lundqvist, unfortunately, is pulling out of the next year's season due to, I believe it was heart concerns or a heart condition. Johnny Goudreau, you're not going to do it to me again. Yeah, okay, there we go. I mean, you probably could do it to me again if you really wanted to. Just shoot high and I'll try to save it and it'll go in. That was an awful idea to pass that. But it worked out. But yeah, I'm very upset. I was actually very excited to see Hank in a Capitals uniform. I thought it would have been amazing, but obviously health comes first, so I totally understand. It's just very unfortunate all around. So I'm trying to think right now. I guess the Caps might have... Well, they're going to have Samsonov. I'm assuming that he's going to be the starter. And then I suppose maybe Phoenix Copley or someone that I don't know about. Unless they signed a different backup, I am not really sure. Also, my friend had an idea for a fantasy thing. Not like a draft, like a video, but just an actual, you know, fantasy hockey style thing. So between myself and two of my friends, we're going to be drafting 10 teams each in the league. For this upcoming season, assuming, well, it's, it's probably going to happen. They'll make it work. They're Oh, nice try. But yeah, we're going to be drafting 10 teams each. And whichever group has the most total points at the end. Oh, boy. They found the trick. Just shoot over the net. And one of these times, I'll knock it in. But yeah, it's an interesting concept for fantasy. I've never really seen anything like that. You don't have to worry about changing your lines or anything. And we're allowed to trade teams and stuff like that if we want to. So I'm very excited to see how it goes. It's going to be interesting. I slid way too far to the right there. I also, because, you know, I'm a software developer, so <laughs> it's just these are the damn things I do. But I made a quick web app so that basically it calls some NHL API that I found on the internet. I was going to say GitHub, but I don't know that if you guys even know what that is. But anyway, yeah, it calls the NHL API and then it gets the standings or stats per team and then... I added in logic so that it creates three tables, one for each person, based on the teams we select. Yes, here we go. Come on. And then we can, you know, have our own little thing there to see. Oh, boy. Get that, please. Don't give it up. Oh, no. What are you doing? Six. I feel like I got, like, really aggressive there. I was really <laughs> upset with what he was doing. So, you know, I guess that is what got that response out of me. But I don't know what you were thinking there. Goalie wasn't in front of the net. And you decided to bring it right in front of the net. But yeah, so basically in the app that I built kind of thing, I'll just probably host it on some free thing. Uh, it's There's four tables. So one showing each of our teams uh, ordered by points. And then there's a table that shows the total number of points uh, and just our names. So yeah, like the... Three of us in a table to see who's winning. Suzuki, ooh, gets knocked off. I was expecting a shot that would have gone over the net there because, of course, they have figured it out. They've cracked the code, if you will. Skate! Dangle carry! Dangle of... Oh, no! That was such a good try, too. Let's go, Sens. We can do this. Nice pass. Colin White. Oh, doesn't get a shot off. No, man. We're getting so close. And we took a penalty, didn't we? Oh, for crying out loud, guys. Really? We can't score, so you go and take a penalty? That doesn't seem like a logical thing to do. It was Captain Brady as well. Unbelievable, this guy. For this Be A Pro and the last Be A Pro, I also changed up the audio recording software I'm using. And it doesn't seem to be going as extremely loud, so I'm hoping that this will actually sound a lot better. Because the other one before was just getting obnoxiously loud, and the microphone was peaking all the time for some reason. I have no idea why! That was my bad. That was 100% my bad. Actually, false. It was also partially Brady's. But I, I shouldn't have passed that puck out. I just, I don't know what's going on. I'm feeling too comfortable almost, which I most certainly should not be. Nice. Yes! That's a goal. I think the ref did this. He went like that. 
which there was a lot of commotion going on there. I, for some reason, thought it was going to be called off for something. But no, Mika Zibanejad, baby, is going to put one in. And the Senators have tied this thing up. Ellis walks in, nice little shot, and then just a tap in. Just going to tap it in. That was huge. So we needed that, definitely. And now... We might be going overtime! What a save! My posture's gotten so bad recently. I don't know what it is. I gotta sit back and have that, you know, straight back. Because my back has also been bugging me recently, which is just sort of a recurring, reoccurring issue. I'm actually drawing a blank. Is it recurring or reoccurring? I want to say it's recurring, but that also doesn't really sound like a word. This is a recurring ap uh, appearance. I was going to say behavior. I don't know why appearance came out. To overtime, we go after a clutch goal there by the Senators to make up for Brady's mistake. Brady's and nobody else's. Victor Mete dumps it in. The OT winner could come off of the twig of Tino Manny. Will that happen? Who knows? Stay away from me. Stay away. That was awful. That wasn't even close. Oh, wait, what? He's skating at me. Oh, boy. I started skating back. And he still ferociously wanted to get me. He's like, I'm not letting you pull that crap again. Get over here. Yeah, he wanted to go me no matter what. All right, Carrie. He should have actually had that uppercut on me, but it is what it is. Okay. Ooh, he dodged. Come on. Here we go. There. Nice punch. I don't lose fights often, Carrie. And tonight is not going to be one of them. So, you know, good night, Jim. Kai oh, no. I thought he was done. Bruh. Don't do this to me. Okay. Finally. Doesn't my guy look like Roberto Luongo there? Am I crazy? Rhetorical question. Don't answer that. Johnny Goudreau coming to ruin my hopes and dreams again. Has a nice little pass off there. And once again, they're going to miss the net. So they are really deploying that strategy of missing the net and hoping that I deflect it in. Listen, guys, just because it worked once doesn't mean it's going to work all the time, okay? So maybe switch it up a little bit here. Nice try. Oh, they actually hit the net this- well, actually, that might not have hit the net. <laughs> I'm not sure. But either way, I was able to make a glove save. Oh my word, we're taking another penalty! Stop it, guys! Did we not learn our lesson about the last one? I know I sure did. I'm not passing it out unless it's a sure shot this time. But if I even get that opportunity, I don't. Because that shot should have went right through the net. Holy! Where the hell did that come from? That guy turned into Happy Gilmore just real quick. A snap of the fingers, and all of a sudden, Happy Gilmore was on the ice. I would like to understand how there was that much power behind that shot. We just love being in crappy situations in series, apparently. We're down 2 nothing now to Montreal. Game number three, we are now in Montreal. Let's see how this one goes. 2-1 and 3-3. Three, three. Can we please win one? I actually really like Montreal's reverse retro jerseys. I think those look sick. I believe Kenny's number six. Anyway, let's go. Come on, Senators. Oh, so close. Kenny picked that up. Get pinned because that's, you know, typically how it works in this game. He actually dumped it in. It's like they want me to keep trying. They're giving me tons of opportunities here. Okay, skate past him. Nope. Stay, stay away from me. Get out of here. Oh, are you kidding me? The dangles. The dangles. That's got to be a goal. No, man. Come on. It was on net. And I had to do... What's going on in the back there? Holy crap. That was weird. Okay, here we go. Carrie, you're about to get your face slapped. Here we go. Boom. There it is. Yeah, that was an open hand slap. That was not a punch. There you go. Boom. An open hand uppercut. Wait, what's going on in the background? Brady, are you good, dude? I'm too distracted. Okay, if I lose this fight, it's all Brady's fault. <laughs> but I didn't. Big W. Yeah, it's way too hard to score when you're coming at it straight on because they're just going to kick it or manage to somehow have it bounce off of them. But, you know, if you go at it from an angle, then you've got a bit more of a chance. I mean, he's not going to come out and scrap me. Oh, boy. That was an awful pass. Nice. Let's go. So close. He dumps it in again. These guys love dumping this damn puck in. I mean, I'm happy. I respect it. Thank you. But I can't try it again this game because now I've already scrapped him. He won't go me again. We really need to win this game. If we lose this one and go down 3 nothing, I I shouldn't say we're not going to do it. In fact, I should almost be in the mindset that we are going to do it based on how things have gone in the past, but I just can't do it. If we're down 3 nothing, it's just, you know, how? Nice pass. No. Oh, that was a great defensive play by whoever that was on Montreal. Nice pass. 
Oh, good try, guys. We're getting so close. I am 100% gonna need a Halls after this video because I can just feel my voice getting upset with me. Nice pass. Shoot it! What? Brother, are you for real? Actually, the Montreal Canadiens are one of the game crashers, aren't they? They're one of the teams we were playing when the game crashed, if I'm not mistaken. I really don't remember the other one, though. Fisher's got it behind the net. I hate this. Nice. Great pass, Fisher. Very happy for you. He's gonna win that, isn't he? Yeah, why are you guys skating backwards? That's the real question here. Both of my defense. Both of them. Just watched as this guy jolted past them. Not a care in the world. Look at this. Why are you still backwards? Why are you still backwards? Why are you running? Okay, well, it looks like we are gonna be down 3-0. Especially considering our team has... Well, that's a lie. We've been getting some decent offensive chances this game. I shouldn't say that. Can we get another clutch goal here? Send it to overtime once more at least. Johnny Goodrow's gonna stop up. Go back, Dahan. Oh, that was a nice goal. That was just a good goal all around. All right, yep, we are down 3 nothing. I want to say we're done, <laughs> but again, I guess you never know. Go? Why? What was that all about? You know, this could have... Really? I believe it was Tanner Pearson, perhaps? If he would have just scored that empty net that he had earlier, we wouldn't even be here right now. Nope. Get out. <sighs> well, this is the worst I've played in at least a couple games. They aren't even going to pull me anymore because it's 6-3. When did that happen? I... Oh, what a bad game. Have we come back from a 3 nothing deficit before? I know we've... 3-1 is... Like, our thing. That is our go-to series. 3 nothing. I don't know about, though. And honestly, the way this is going, I totally envision us getting swept. So maybe we'll be requesting a trade sooner rather than later. But you know what? I can't count us out just yet. Like I said, and like we proved in the last series, we are very good at making the other team think they're going to win. Yeah, that was an awful game. And then destroying them. So, maybe we'll do that again here. I don't know. Oh, we got a conversation. Yeah, we're down 3 nothing. I know, Chief. James! And for him to say, hey, we're coming back in this. Look out. Don't write us off just yet. I don't mind it. I know a lot of people have laughed about it. I've seen a lot of colleagues kind of chirping Ooh. him for it. I've seen the gifts and the memes and all of it on social <laughs> media. But you know what? People are making gifts and memes? For yeah, me? I guess I do have like 3 trillion social media no, followers. You know what? Play with some pride. Play with some purpose. And you know what? Maybe yeah. the rest of the team does pick up their play and hear what the rookie's saying. What have you got to lose at this point in time, right? I don't mind That's true, comments. James. Let's see if they pay off because... He may be, uh, he may be eating those words. If I didn't he, say uh, anything. To come back in this series. All right, still to come here on the show. We're going to dive into a few other... You know what? Lines. Screw you, James. I liked you better when you weren't talking. I'm just kidding. Please come back. Okay, it's not looking good at all, folks, but nonetheless, we are here down 3 nothing against the Montreal Canadiens. And yeah, I don't know. Hope maybe some of you enjoyed watching me get lit up, perhaps. It's certainly, I know some people get a kick out of it. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe while you're down there. If you could, that would be unbelievable. And I'll see you in the next video where we will most likely be eliminated by the Montreal Canadiens.